hey guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this particular tutorial i'm going to teach you how to create a measure which does not get affected by a slicer right what i mean is for example uh, i have sales uh, a sample sales data over here i have country and then i have total sales last year and i have total sales this year right now when I, whatever months that i select over here is reflecting over here now i have selected months all the way from january to september so the total sales this year is comprising of 2021 sales okay now the same thing last year is basically the same months for 2020 this is your total sales for 2020 right now let's say you have a new requirement saying that you want to see the total sales for the year 2020 and not just the months that you have selected here right so you might say hey we can simply create a measure and uh, you know let's create a measure and see what happens uh, sales 2020 is equals to okay okay i'm going to use the calculate function over here sum and then uh, total uh, sales amount okay comma filter uh, i'm going to use the date table over here calendar uh, and then year is equals to 2020 okay let's close the bracket and press enter so we've created a new measure now let's bring in the sales 2020 into the table over here so the moment you pull this here you see that the values are all blank here right the reason for the blank values here is because we have filtered here by these months only now when you select 2020 over here obviously you will get the sales amount but that is not what you expect in these columns right because you need total sales this year right which is basically when whatever that you're selecting here is your sales amount here which is saying this year right and last year so now since we have selected 2020 and all of 2021 as well it is now comparing your sales with 2019 and 2018 sales amount right that is not what we want what we want is basically when we say last year we want all of the sales amount of the months that we select here to compare it with 2020 and return the same sales amount for the year 2020 right and when we say this year we want the sales amount of the months that we have selected for example if we remove all of the months let's say we only want to compare for the month of september okay so september we can see that total sales this year is 98 million okay and the same thing uh, in last year september 2020 september is 1.4 billion right now this is what we want to compare now along with this we also want to see the total sales amount for the year 2020 even though we have created a measure it is not bringing in the amount because the slicer is filtering the data when we select 2020 here we will see the start seeing the amount so we will have to tweak the measure that we just created so let's go back here to the measure that we created which is called as sales 2020 okay let's uh, remove uh, or let's go over here after the total sales amount let's type in a, uh, a function called as all except okay here i am going to select the date uh, field which we have used here to create the slicer okay which is from the calendar table okay comma and my column name is the date okay i'm going to close the bracket uh, type in comma here so that i can follow in with the uh, filter which we have and then press enter okay so the moment that you do this now you will start seeing the total sales amount for the year 2020 we are using the all except function to ignore any kind of filters that have been applied to this particular slicer over here now if you see here you seeing the total sales amount for the year 2020 right just to compare let us remove this and uh, select 2020 over here okay so you will see total sales this year is matching with total sales amount uh, whatever that you select here is total sales this year right and total sales last year is it is now comparing with the sales amount of 2019 right so this these this total sales this year and sales 2020 is now matching so let's say if we just select 2021 and total sales this year is 10.1 billion okay total sales last year is 11.7 billion and 
that's how that's, we are now also getting to see the total sales amount for this 2020 year right so i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials